The Comptroller General of Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohamed Babandidi, has told newsmen in Abuja that there will be no safe haven for migrants who disobey immigration laws. The Immigration Service, which is in charge of entry and exit from Nigeria, deportation among other duties, says it will not be business as usual for foreigners residents in Nigeria without following the due process, as there is a growing number of people hiding, living and working in the shadows undocumented by the border policing agency. In 2021, we will invest in enforcement. We will make sure every expatriate who enters our territory comply with the condition of entry. If you are a visitor for seven days, you will visit and leave after seven days. If you are coming into this country to reside as a dependent, you remain dependent, not working. If you enter this country to be an engineer in a factory in Lagos, you will work in that factory in Lagos, not in other place. No doubt, there is no investment like human capital investment. The immigration boss explained that there is a prospect that the service will fare much better in 2021, noting that despite the COVID-19 crisis, the service has done well. The Minister of Interior, Raouf Arebeshola, represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, advised officers and men of the service to shun all acts of corruption and sharp practices while rededicating themselves to the core professional duties. Against all the odds occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic this year, this year 2020 has been an excellent and productive year for all of us as the NIS has performed exceptionally well with tremendous achievements to enhance service delivery to Nigerians and foreigners alike by carrying out its statutory duties of securing Nigeria's expansive borders without compromising security of the nation. These roles have indeed repositioned the service as a modern migration management agency which can be compared favorably with its contemporaries worldwide. A total of 31 officers and men of the service were awarded on meritorious innovation, gallant and posthumous grounds.